Hey guys, today I want to quickly talk to you about something that's super important if you're going to be out there with just a backpack or even if you're in a semi-permanent base camp or self-sustainability situation. Water. Water carrying options. Water filtering options. So stay with me and I'll cover something I probably should have covered a long time ago. So recently, um, my last trip specifically, I went out there and one of the biggest things, since it wasn't winter anymore, there was no snow on the ground, is I had to find an area where I could get water. My plan was to camp near an area with water and boil it. Um, it's always important to have a plan, um, if you can, about how you're going to get water. But also, I think it's important to have a backup plan in case that fails. Um, and in my situation, it almost did. Um, I was hiking in and weather started to turn on me. Um, almost couldn't find a spot to set up near water. And so it got me thinking about, you know, what options are out there. I hate carrying water. I don't like it. Now, I did pick up this recently. This is a two liter um, water bladder. It's actually got a couple liters of water in it. Well, just about two liters of water in it now. Um, this will slide right down in a, you know, a backpack. Um, I happen to have a backpack with the ports for the drinking straws. I don't want to carry this. This is heavy. Um, actual weight, I mean, an extra two liter bottle of soda on your back. Um, so, I wouldn't really hike in with this full of water. Usually, what I'll do is I'll bring in one water bottle, you know, if that, um, or maybe, you know, another small drink, and then I'll source my water when I'm on location. So once I got that water bladder, I started thinking about um, ways I could fill that water bladder at my location. Obviously, having a running water source, you still probably want to boil it. And that's what I, what I was doing my last trip and, and most of my trips. I just gather water, boil it, use it as needed. But boiling takes a long time. So I started looking into water filter options. Um, a lot of you may be familiar with the Life Straw and also this other one, the Sawyer filter, water filter. All right, so now with my setup, I can carry, you know, more than a water bottle. Or I should say I can have the carrying capacity of more than just a water bottle that I bring or something like that. And I can bring this empty or with, you know, even just a small amount of water for while I'm hiking in and then fill it at location, which that's how I plan to use this. Um, oh, I just want to mention too, this, uh, this water bladder is really nice. I mean, it's not the most expensive one out there by any means, but it has a very wide opening so you can reach your hand in and actually clean it. You can get in there. Um, it's a really nice, durable material. It's got a quick release valve here. You just kind of squeeze and pull this out and it's got an O-ring. Um, I've had this full for a couple days to test it. Um, no leaking whatsoever. Obviously, I haven't hiked with it yet, but whenever I get gear, I do like to test it, you know, at least somewhat so that I'm familiar with it. Like, I want to know how this thing comes apart. How am I going to clean it? You know, things like that. Just so I'm at least somewhat familiar with it, so I'm not struggling with it when I'm out there. <clears throat> also, I like the fact that it's got this, you know, hard plastic handle to where I could hang it up 
on a tree or something um, and I'll show you why that's that could be important for me um, this valve here it's got an on off valve which um, you just slide it up or down like that right now the valve is open and I can bite down on this and get water out of it now the valve is closed no water will come out and just as a secondary precaution you get a cap so I like this so it seems pretty leak proof pretty bulletproof um, as much as a plastic bag full of water can be let me show you how I actually plan on using this now I have a couple different ideas I honestly have not even decided on which I started looking at water filtration options. Now there are a ton on the market. I'm going to start off with probably one of the most basic and most recognizable ones, the Life Straw. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, it's simply a straw with hollow fiber um, filters. It will filter out down to 0.2 microns, um, which is pretty decent when you're talking about um, protozoa, uh, bacteria, things like that. It won't filter out viruses. It won't filter out chemical pollutants, though. Um, that's something a lot of people don't um, think about when they're, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to throw a life straw in my bug out bag and I'll be good. Well, like I said, um, I test my gear before I use it. So I did test this one. I purchased two of these. This is how they come. This is the uh, other one that I got. Um, individually packaged in a bag. And when you pull it out, this is what you have. Uh, you got a cap for the top, cap for the bottom. And the idea is you can put this directly in the water source and drink. So I went to test this out. I followed the instructions to the letter. The instruction said to set it in the, the water, let it sit there for a few seconds so that to quote unquote prime the filter, suck on the mouthpiece five times quickly, and then the water should begin to flow. So I did that. I got a drink of water. Now keep in mind I was testing this on pre-filtered water. So I got my drink of water. And then you can see right here in the picture, it says drink and then blow. Basically backwash that filter. You blow through it to push out, you know, any air that's left in there or any water that's left in there. Sorry. So I did that. <clears throat> Jammed up on me. I can't suck through it. Can't blow through it. It's just completely jammed up. Um, and it was like this once before, right when I first got it a day or two ago, I'm like, what is this thing defective? I did a bunch of research and I found out about letting it sit in water. So I took a tall glass of water and I set this in there and because there was still some air in there, it was kind of floating and eventually it sank. When it sank all the way to the bottom, I did try sucking through it. I had to suck very, very hard, but it did get some water to come through. I'm like, all right, well, maybe, you know, I, I don't know what happened, but so I followed the instructions again, blew through it, blew out the, you know, as much water as I could. And again, it clogged up. Forget this thing. Absolute garbage. I've given up on it. Um, I got my money back for those. They didn't want them back, but um, in my opinion, and I've watched a lot of YouTube videos where people will take it, they'll put it in the water, they'll take a sip, they'll be like, wow, that works great. Oh, and now I'm supposed to backwash it, so they blow it out, and you never see them try it again. And I've seen in a couple of those videos, they blow until they can't blow anymore, which is exactly what I did with mine. And at that point, if they tried to drink again, you know, it probably wouldn't work. Now, maybe I'm doing something wrong, or maybe it's just um, that's how the product is designed, you know, and you have to let it 
you know, sit there for a few minutes in the water every time you want to use it. But if that's the case, I, I'm not interested. Maybe as like an emergency backup thing. But the thing with the life straw is it filters 1,000 gallons of water, which I was thinking in my head, well, if I get two of those, you know, even if I break one or something, that's, you know, just by carrying out one little thing, I got 1,000 gallons of water, right? Well, then I started learning or hearing about the Sawyer. Now, Sawyer makes a few different um, options when it comes to filters. Pretty much all the same idea, though. It's also a hollow, hollow fiber membrane. But, I mean, if you compare the, the sheer size and weight here, the Life Straw filters down to 0.2 microns, and it'll filter up to 1,000 gallons of water. This is the Sawyer Mini. They make a, a larger version of the Sawyer. But both, both of them filter down to, uh, both Sawyer filters filter down to 0.1 microns. 0.2 microns, 0.1 microns, which means this is going to take out more pathogens, or uh, protozoa and bacteria. Um, this also will not filter um, chemical pollutants. It will also not filter viruses. So it filters a little bit better than the Life Straw. Now, the big selling point for me was that this will filter 100,000 gallons of water. The larger original version of the Sawyer, which is called the Sawyer Squeeze, will filter up to a million gallons of water. Uh, what they're basically saying is that that has 10 times the lifespan as this. And this has 100 times um, the lifespan of the uh, life straw. Um, what I have is the, it's a fairly newer version of the Sawyer. Um, it's the Sawyer Mini Dual Threaded. Uh, which just means that it has a female coupling here on this end and a male coupling on this end. And you can see it tells you where the flow is, but the size comparison, um, you got to keep in mind with filters like these, you can't let them freeze. So if it's wintertime, you're going to have to put these in your pocket. And to keep something this large from freezing, you know, keeping it close to your body, finding a pocket large enough to hold something this size, um, it's going to be, you know, it could be difficult, could be uncomfortable. Something this small, you throw it in your sleeping bag, you're good to go. So let's talk about the price. And this is what blew my mind. I bought the Life Straws. They were on sale for like $11. That's why I got two of them. Came to like $25 bucks for two Life Straws. This Sawyer was $19 and change. So I can filter more water, filter it more thoroughly. Um, and if you're familiar with water filters, you'll know that there's a lot of other smaller filters like this on the market. What drew me to the Sawyer over some other options on the market that are kind of similar is that a lot of independent testing has shown that the dirt, like, while they they all have uh, 0 .0, uh, 0 0.1 micron filters, they have similar lifespans, the Sawyer has much more durable fibers. Not just, like, you know, slightly, but significantly more durable fibers inside it. Which means when you go to backwash this, it can withstand a lot more backwashing. Um, and more vigorous backwashing, so you can get it clean and get that flow rate back. You're going to hear flow rate mentioned a lot when you're talking about these little filters. Um, and that's something that I'm going to test, because this I have not tested yet. But first, I want to talk about what this comes with. So let me show you quickly here. Okay, so the, the Sawyer filters... And the, the different Sawyer packs come with, you know, different adapters depending on the kit you buy. The kit that I bought, I actually thought it came with a drinking straw attachment, which makes it so that you can use, well, supposedly, uh, so you can use this Sawyer filter the same as something like a Life Straw. 
It just has a, a hose about this long that sits on this little nozzle here. It gives you a mouthpiece that screws on the top. And with that mouthpiece, well, with that mouthpiece on, you can just simply drink your water directly from the source. Now, this bag, the reason the original Sawyer was called the Sawyer Squeeze, and you see this bag is called, where it says the Squeeze System, is because the whole idea is that you're supposed to fill this bag with water, screw it onto the Sawyer filter, and, you know, roll up or squeeze the bag and force the water through the filter going in that direction of the flow arrow. And you can filter it into a water bottle. A lot of people actually use water bottles um, instead of that bag. So anyway, you have that option. You could fill the bag, squeeze it through the filter into another container, a clean container. Um, this is um, an adapter. What this does is it allows you to put this on the output end and you can screw a water bottle or another um, bag which you would use as a clean bag and you can force the water from one bag to another or from one bottle to another so you have a dirty and a clean contaminated and not contaminated so that's what that little adapter does and mine also came with the inline adapter set and this is what really interested me in this particular filter and one of the reasons why I chose the Sawyer Mini over the larger Sawyer Squeeze you basically put one of these caps on each end and this can be used as an inline filter right on your water bladder so if I were to cut my hose here for example and I attach these to the hose oh sorry like this then I could filter the water, I could put contaminated water in the bladder, um, and then simply get it, you know, filter it as I drink it. So that was um, something that really interested me, this being smaller and lighter than the larger Sawyer Squeeze. And then it comes with a uh, cleaning syringe. You fill this with clean water and force it the opposite direction through your filter, and it cleans out the uh, water that's inside there. So that's what it comes with. Now, like I said, I haven't tested this yet. So let's test it. So I have to say, I've been a little bit hesitant to even test this, just because once you get these wet, um, they you can never really get them completely dry again i can leave that on there and i've been hesitant to get this wet because uh because of my bad experience with the life straw but i'd rather if it's going to fail i'd rather know before i get out there so i i have to test it so i figured i'll at least give you guys a look and you can see how this thing really works. Step one, fill up the bag with water. So this is a smaller 16 ounce bag. They come with uh, they come with uh, 32 ounce bags, uh, 
and I believe up to 64 ounce bags. Next step is to screw your Sawyer filter onto the bag. Okay, from this point, I should be able to see how well this, um, the flow rate is on this. Let's see if this is really going to be a viable option. I have not even really started squeezing it yet. It's just kind of flowing through there. No, I gotta say, that's a flow rate I could live with. I mean, that's a lot of clean water fairly quickly. And now my bag is empty. Cap that side. Unscrew this. Now, you don't have to backwash this every time. And you can feel it's got some more weight to it because... It's got that water in there, but a lot of people just shake that water out. But, you know, you really want to shake it though. But yeah, I mean, honestly, as far as flow rate goes, I'd be very happy with that. Now, I'm a little bit reluctant to try blowing air through this. But I believe it's something you should be able to do. Yeah, so I guess you can just shake it or blow the air through it. Let's make sure it's going to work a second time. Wrong side. Well, I'd say that works just fine. And you can even drink it right out of the bag. Yeah, I mean, it's, I could drink that as fast as I wanted to with a little suction. So I'd say definitely a winner. I'm very happy with that. You would think the light straw would be easier to use, but I honestly find the this Sawyer filter easier to use and a lot more versatile. I mean, you have use as a simple drinking straw, same as the light straw. You have use with the squeeze pouches. You can use it with water bottles, squeezing from one bottle to another. You can use it as an inline filter on a hydration pack. And the one um, setup option I didn't mention with this is a gravity filter where you basically take one bag, hang it up in the air, attach, you know, to the top of this, a hose to the top of this, and then you can screw a bottle on the bottom loosely so air can get out as the water goes in. 
and it will feed into the bottle or you could you know attach a hose to it whatever you prefer but the idea is basically you let gravity pull one from the top down to the bottom and <clears throat> those are all things you can't do with a, a life straw so filters better same price and filters a lot more and is a lot more versatile for me it's a no-brainer i'm going with the sawyer So just to give you an idea why I've chosen the system that I have here for water is that I have the capability to just take this and simply drink. I have the ability to set it up as an inline filter with this hydration pack where I can fill up the hydration pack very easily. I mean, with this giant opening, I think it's four. I don't know, but with that giant opening, That'll fill up in two seconds, and then you can simply put this on as an inline and drink um, just like that. Or set this up as a gravity fill, put a hose into your hydration bladder, hang it from a tree, and just simply have the dirty water above it. And, you know... While you're doing other things, your hydration bladder's filling up. When you look at this comparison between the Life Straw and the Sawyer, honestly, I don't even think they do compare. Um, I think the only reason I consider it a Life Straw is because I didn't have the knowledge of the Sawyer. Um, and I just want to point out, if you wanted the full Sawyer filter, it's only about $29.99 and that filters up to a million gallons of water with a faster flow rate. Um, I'm going to be doing another video shortly on some cookware and what I've found in my, you know, what works for me. So thanks for joining me in this look into water and water carrying devices and water filtration systems. Hopefully, uh, you know, maybe it'll give you guys some ideas on uh, what you want to do with your system and your kit. Um, again, it really depends on, you know, the situation you're in. Are you just going hiking? Are you going camping? Are you going to be near water that you can even filter? Um, so all that kind of goes into play. So come up with a plan and then have a backup plan. But water is the one thing you definitely want to make sure that you have a handle on. Thanks for joining me. Catch you next, next time.